A question of character. This story is about a guy named Jason and a pet frog named Fred and a vehicle named Sophia the Third and also a hole. The hole is nameless. Jason loves his frog Fred. However, Fred loves freedom and radiation. Fred turns into power Fred. He escapes into the insides of the earth. Jason will follow him in a wheeled tank vehicle named Sophia the Third, buried beneath his house. They never saw it. Within Sophia the Third is battle armor and high-tech weaponry. Jason doesn't question the uniform that fits him perfectly, or Sophia the Third's giant cannon. He needs that frog. Jason is off. Jason enters the beautiful insides of the earth with its glorious sky and clouds. The internal atmosphere of the earth is a wondrous sight. Jason travels within the earth to the lava pits, to the ice land to the sewers of the earth. Jason navigates Sophia the Third like it's second nature. Speaking of second nature, the inside of the earth has trees. Sophia the Third has incredible shocks. Sophia the Third lifts from the earth. Sophia the Third can jump. Jason is immune to motion sickness. Jason blasts. He is an expert of blasting. In fact, some may call him Jason. Sophia the Third allows Jason to blast in many angles, sideways and upways. The two blasting angles. Sophia the Third has a deadly armament, homing missiles, multi-warhead missiles, and thunder break. Yes, the tank shoots lightning. Although Sophia the Third weighs 150 tons and has titanium armor, Jason will exit the tank and fight. Jason has the heart of a man, but also the body of a man. Jason returns to the tank. There are places that the tank cannot reach. Fit for a man, a swimming man. Jason swims of the fish. However, Jason cannot swim, especially in lava. But Sophia the Third can with its amphibious swimming device. Jason obtains upgrades for Sophia the Third after defeating warlords controlled by the plutonium boss. Fortunately, Jason is an expert in military insurgency. Jason carries small arms grenades with low impact. His laser rifle packs a fairly powerful blast. But Jason will upgrade to Rainbow Laser, a colorful laser possessing the greatest of power, but the poorest of aim. Jason will manage. Jason's battle suit allows for swift movement. It provides him eight units of protection against danger. Jason regains strength by collecting power circles. Lastly, Jason has one more outstanding ability. The power to stop time. Jason will toss his close quarter grenade, stop time, and wait for his enemy to be defeated. Fascinating. Jason's helmet provides him with a detailed heads-up display of tactical gear he has installed into Sophia the Third. Key Crusher, Hyper, Hover, Dive, Wall 1, and Wall 2, which is just like Wall 1, but is for real this time. Incredibly, Sophia transforms from tank to hover tank, allowing access to secret areas and the ability to avoid suicidal rock men. Jason views any radioactive creature within the Earth as a threat to Fred, and Jason must rescue Fred by blasting him. But Jason will not destroy Fred after destroying him. Fred will survive his destruction. Fred is back as Solar Enhanced Fred. Harnessing the internal solar energy of the Earth, Jason must rescue him from his own power by blasting him. Jason loves Fred. Jason will travel the ends of the inner Earth to avenge the evil dispensation of Fred. Jason must be careful. Although Sophia the Third can withstand the treacherous terrain, Jason will splatter on it. Jason travels through worlds and back to other worlds, finally making it to Area 8, filled with mecha skeleton heads, slugs, and flying beasts, as well as the plutonium boss. Jason uses all of his close encounter skills to defeat this sickeningly horned demon creature. But alas, it is not a boss, 
but instead a lord that may control a warlord. The Underworld Lord. Fighting with a shield and red laser whip, the Underworld Lord looks to murder Jason. But Jason has become an amazing fighter within this afternoon of adventure. The Underworld Lord is defeated. Jason's hair changes into heroic blue, shedding its neophyte brown color. He and his destroyed but reanimated best friend Fred spend a romantic moment witnessing the destruction of the underworld within the underworld. While Jason likely ponders if he will ever return home to his family, the frog ponders nothing because it is a frog. Next episode, Don't Go Punching Waterfalls. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. of character. character.